Welcome to the Campervan channel, the YouTube channel for all things VW Camper. Now, as devoted VWists, we all love our Volkswagen Transporters. But there's one particular model that's lusted after more than any other, and it's an incredible 70 years old. Of course, I'm talking about the Samba, which is probably the most sought after model in Volkswagen history. How sought after? Well, let's just say that in 2017, a really smart one went up for sale at an auction in the United States, and it sold for just over $300,000. So for a 70th birthday treat, let's see what all the fuss is about. The Samba burst onto the motoring scene at the IAA, that's the International Motor Show held in Frankfurt in April 1951. Volkswagen had launched the split-screen transporter about a year earlier, so folks were getting used to VW's cute little van. There was even a standard minibus version. But there was nothing standard about what VW revealed on its spectacular stand at the long-awaited motor show. The special version, as it was initially called, was packed with exclusive new features that transformed VW's workaday people carrier into a far more luxurious vehicle. The new bus had trendy two-tone paintwork, loads of decorative aluminium trim, over 11 metres of it in fact, and the bling didn't stop there. There were chrome bumpers and a massive chrome VW badge on the front. You got a painted badge on the everyday version. On top was a huge concertina-style sliding sunroof, which made it part people carrier, part cabriolet. And the most distinctive feature of the Samba was undoubtedly their windows. They had more glass than your average greenhouse. 23 windows in the original, these included eight very distinctive skylights, four down each side of the roof. They were a popular feature on full-sized coaches of the 1950s. The window count also included two panes that curved around the rear pillars. They were actually plexiglass to start with, and in Switzerland the bus was called the Plexi Bus. They were replaced with curved safety glass early in 1955. You may come across 21 window sambas. Now, these were produced from August 1963, when the two rear curved windows were disposed of to make way for a much wider rear window and hatch. As for official names, in Germany, the special version unveiled at the show became known as the special model. In the US, it was marketed as the Microbus Deluxe. So where did Samba come from? Well, Volkswagen say there's no reliable record, but it might have been an anacronym made from this German phrase, which I am not going to attempt to pronounce, which means sunroof version with special dashboard. There you go, Samba. And because you'll be wondering, the special dashboard bit meant the dashboard was full width, a first for a VW Transporter. Whatever you call it, the Samba was and still is an exotic motor. This great archive footage shows a lively little Samba ferrying very chic passengers around an airport. After all, airports were very glamorous places to be in the early 1950s. The inside of the Samba was a glamorous place to be too. There was more chrome, covered side panels, eight seats in three rows, there was always a clock in the dashboard and possibly the latest in in-car entertainment, 1950s style, an auto super valve radio. All this sophistication came at a price, just over 9,000 Deutschmarks, which might sound like a bit of a bargain, but it was two and a half times the average annual wage in Germany at the time, and 3,000 Deutschmarks more than the standard minibus. The Samba was hugely popular, with increased engine outputs and various design tweaks being made throughout its production history. These included the replacement of the semaphore indicators, a light on a stick that flipped out from the B-pillar, first with very small indicator lights and then the large fisheye flashes for the last phase of production. By July 1967, when Samba production came to an end, Volkswagen had sold nearly 100,000 of them, 
and created a true motoring icon. But that doesn't mean the Samba's ready to be confined to the history books just yet. How's this for bringing the icon bang up to date? This is a 1966 Samba that spent over 50 years soaking up the sun in California. That was before it was transformed into an e-Samba, a totally electric, emission-free vehicle. Out came the old boxer engine and in went this all-electric unit, which delivers nearly twice as much power as the original. The chassis been redesigned and the brakes operated to handle all that extra power. There are some very 21st century features, like LED charge indicators in the back lights, so as you walk up to the vehicle, you can find out how much charge it's got, or hasn't. And there's a one-speed gearbox and a tablet integrated into the roof console to give you driving information overload. And no, it's not just a concept car. You can actually have your Samba converted like this, if, of course, you can find and afford a Samba to convert in the first place. So, happy 70th birthday, Samba. And if you want to celebrate the other VW transporters and their camper vans, please subscribe to the channel, click on that bell icon, and then you'll get a notification every time a new video comes off the production line. For now, thanks for watching.